when the spirit sends you you go mark chapter 1 verses 11 to 13 then a voice came from heaven you are my beloved son in whom i am well pleased immediately the spirit drove him into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness 40 days tempted by satan and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered to him this passage in mark is very interesting because right after we hear the announce from announcement from heaven where there is the voice from heaven the father's voice saying this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased we see in scripture that the bible says immediately meaning right after this the holy spirit drove him or sent him out into the wilderness and this is very intriguing why would the holy spirit send jesus into the wilderness why would he be directed by the spirit or led by the spirit as the other gospels record what was the whole purpose of this of jesus being directed by the spirit of god into the wilderness now this is something we want to ponder about during the course of this week the the whole aspect of this wilderness experience so to speak now many of us when we hear about the wilderness experience uh, we think about it in a very negative sense we uh, always think about uh, you know a place where there is hardship a place where there is trub- trouble and so on and, and and there seems to be a lot of negative connotation with this whole idea of the wilderness experience but we want to draw some lessons from uh, the experience that Jesus had and see how that would relate to us today uh the fact that the holy spirit sent him into the wilderness indicates to us that there will be times when the spirit of god himself will move us into such a location as we begin this week i want to just bear this on our hearts that there are times when the holy spirit sends us out into the wilderness a space or a time in our lives which he has a very specific purpose for and he's he's intending to accomplish something and uh, during the course of this week we're going to try to understand what that wilderness space looks like or would mean for us today and what would be the outcomes of us yielding to the work of the holy spirit when he sends out sends us out into the wilderness but here's the point i want us to take away today when the holy spirit sends us out into the wilderness when he says i want you to move into that space in your life we must let go and we must follow him just as the lord jesus when he was sent out by the spirit into the wilderness he went you know the lord jesus could have resisted it he could have said hey i've just been uh, uh, claimed by the father as his beloved son and in whom uh, he is well pleased uh, what need would there be of this wilderness in my life why would i even need to go there i've already received god's mark of approval on my life i've already uh, you know received heaven's approval on my life why do i need to go into the wilderness but jesus did not do that he yielded to the moving of the spirit when he when the holy spirit sent him out into the wilderness he yielded to it and he moved in you may be coming out from one of your highest experiences in life yeah, god may have blessed you god may have done wonderful things in your life and yet you find that you may find that the holy spirit is moving you into your wilderness space what should you and i do we yield to it when the holy spirit sends us out we must go even into the wilderness space god's got something to accomplish there be willing to yield to the spirit as he sends you out let's pray father we ask that even as jesus yielded to the spirit as the spirit sent him out into the wilderness help us to be willing to yield as you by your spirit move us into that wilderness space help us to understand what you want to accomplish during those seasons in the wilderness give us the grace for it in jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.